Hi, this is the CAD CAM Lessons channel. In this video, I will show you how to make something like this in FreeCAD. I will show you how to make this spring. To make this spring, we can use any profile here. I happen to have a circular profile, but we can use a different profile here. I will show you two ways to create this type of model. However, I will note right away that this operation can put a bit of a load on the computer and FreeCAD might slow down a bit while creating this model, but we have an operation that allows for creating this type of model and in some cases it can be useful. Before we start, just a quick note, you'll find links to my FreeCAD courses in the description. It's also a great way to support the channel. Now I will switch to FreeCAD and show you how to make this type of part. I will start by creating a parametric part and I will show you the first way we can do this. We will start by creating the shape of the spring's cross section. I create a new sketch and I will create this sketch on the X, Z plane. Here we can create either a circle or we will create a triangle. I place the center of the triangle on the x-axis. As the circle radius, I will enter, for example, 3 millimeters. I press enter, and I will also constrain the vertex of the triangle to the x-axis. OK, now I press escape to end the triangle drawing command, and I will define the distance between these two points. I press the D key and here I will enter, for example, 30 millimeters as the distance. I close the sketch and now, based on this shape, we can create such a helix. Of course, at the beginning I showed you a spring that had a circular cross section. Now we will do it based on a triangle. We have such a sketch and we select the additive helix operation, and in this way we can create such a helix. Here we specify the pitch. For example, I will set the pitch here to 10 millimeters and the spring height to 50 millimeters. And here we also have the cone angle parameter, and we can do it in such a way that this spring expands, for example. Here I will return to the value of 0 degrees. I click OK and we have something like this, just like with other operations where we create a 3D solid based on a sketch. Here too we have an operation that allows removing material from a solid based on a sketch. I will create a new project, also as a parametric part, and here I will start by creating a cylinder. I create a sketch on the XY plane, and here I will create a circle with a diameter of 50 millimeters. And based on this, I will create a cylinder with a height of 50 millimeters. And now I create a new sketch on the X, Z plane. I select the Create Reference Geometry command and Create Reference Geometry to have this point. And here, just like before, we will draw a triangle. I select Draw Triangle and will draw a triangle with a dimension of 3 millimeters. And here I enter 180 degrees as the angle. I click the right mouse button to cancel this command. And now I select this point. I select this point and choose the coincidence constraint. OK, here we still need to apply one constraint. I select this point. I select the x-axis. And I also choose the coincidence constraint. I close the sketch and select the subtractive helix operation. And based on this, we can remove material from the solid. I will increase the height of this helix, for example, to 50 millimeters. I will change the helix pitch, for example, to 10 millimeters, and click OK. And in this way, we created something like this. Of course, we can adjust this a bit. I can change the parameters of this helix and, for example, set the helix height to 70 millimeters so that it goes beyond this cylinder. I click OK. And we can go to edit the sketch and change the position of this sketch a bit. I will remove the constraint here. OK. And we will remove this constraint too.
and we will do it so that these two points lie in one horizontal line. I select these two points, press the H key, and now I select this point. I select this point and press the V key, and now I select this point. I select this point and press the D key, and here I enter, for example, 3 millimeters. I close the sketch and the changes have been applied to the model and that is how we can use the helix operation and we can create this type of element. We can also approach this in another way. I will create a new project in the part module. We also have an option to create a helix there. Select the primitives option here. And here we have the helix option. And here we define the helix parameters, pitch, height and radius. Click create and we have such a helix created. We close this and now we can use this helix in the part design module. We can create a sketch here that we will sweep along this helix. To do this while we are in the part design module, we create a new part, select this helix and drag it to the active body. And now we create a new sketch. In this case, we create a sketch on the X, Z plane. I will rotate the view a bit and create reference geometry to have this point here. And now I will create some shape here, for example, a circle with a diameter of three millimeters. I close the sketch and select the additive pipe operation. I indicate the path along which I will sweep this profile. I click OK. And we have something like this. So that is how we can create these types of elements. And as you can see, it is quite easy to apply. And in some cases, this operation can be very useful. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. And if you'd like more videos like this, consider subscribing.